Hey everybody, I'm Chris McCall, Santone Lures Pro, FLW Tournament Pro. Today I want to talk to you about the Chris McCall Signature Series Swim Jigs. These are two of my favorite colors and they're two different sizes. I want to kind of just go over some jigs with you and the trailers that I like to use to make the Santone Swim Jig more effective. This is the perch pattern. I like to throw it a lot during the, during the perch spawn and we have a major perch spawn in East Texas happens every year at Rayburn. I like to put a gambler easy swimmer behind it in the perch color. Top notch combination when the perch are spawning. This is more my dirty water color. I want something that's going to give me a big bulky trailer which the gambler burner crawl does and the 516 Santone swim jig. It's got the orange and the chartreuse in it. This is always a top color for me when the water's a little off color. Black and blue. Black and blue, it's always a great color when it's cloudy. That's my favorite time to throw it. Dirty water too, but cloudy days, black and blue always gets my nod. A 7 16 or a 5 16 is usually the my favorite two sizes on the Santone swim jig. And of course this one, this one, the shad spawn. You're always thinking of the shad spawn. We have a great shad spawn here. Lakes like uh, Texoma, where they have a big major shad spawn on docks. Great bait to throw up there. And I usually tip it with a gambler flappy daddy. Anything in that 516 Santone head, put you a white skirt on during the shad spawn and you're gonna get bit. This is just a quick overview. This is my box that I carry with all my Santone baits in it. I hope this tip will give you some, some idea of how I like to throw my swim jig. Put that 65 pound braid on there and go throw that Santone swim jig.